Do you come from the land down under? Huh, 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 huh. Where women glow and men plunder. Brick it down, brick it down there. Do you come from the land down under? Good day, fellow engineers. Today, we're going to the land down under. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Me and accents. I apologize. <laughs> Can't even keep a straight face now. <laughs> but yes, we are going upside down to the land down under. We are in sunny Ozland. We're going to build three bridges from the Aussies. Well, they're not renowned for their bridges, but there is definitely one or two. That's an absolute bilf. So let's get started, shall we? Right, so I've made a nice 70 meter span. Let's just quickly fill it in with some road. Actually, I'm just going to do halfway, which I think is about there. I'm just going to mark where halfway is. So that would be there. I'm just tying it in because <laughs> I do enough calcs and stuff at work. So I've got a, this is free form engineer. Oh, is that a middle? Yeah, that is middle. Okay, so delete that. I know it's that one now. So for this, I'm going to be using a custom shape. I have done this style of bridge before already, but I just want to, I want to try a different method. So what I'm going to do, you might say it's cheating, but once you actually see what I'm doing, you'll see it's actually kind of helping you to understand how it works a bit more. I won't be too much more mysterious. We'll just get straight into it. But essentially, I'm just going to make this shape. All right, so I'm going to go and edit dynamic anchors. So dynamic anchors are ones where they don't stick to like the background. They just provide a sort of a node that you can connect stuff to but it can still move about. So that's what I'm going to have up here. And then down the bottom I'm going to use this one which is edit a static pin. I'm just going to put that at the very bottom. So essentially we've got that. So we've got this block of whatever it is. I've actually made it concrete colour. Essentially it's locked at the bottom but only by one point, so this can tilt side to side. Then at the top I've got all these anchors. So then if I just take that and duplicate, then just bung one of these on the other side. Right, and then we have that. So we're, we are getting there. I'm just gonna quickly do these cables. I'm just gonna go from each bit of road. I'm just gonna go up one. I think I've done these a bit too close actually. <laughs> I can't actually pick the one I want. But details, details, schmeetels. Right, so that is that side done. And then I'm literally just going to copy that, flip horizontal, line up all those. And I think we're pretty much there. Just need one bit of road in the middle. Nice. Well, actually, 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 I'm not going to do it that way. Because when I have a little look, you can actually see this bridge has a bit of a curve in it. So what I'm going to do instead just go from that point to that point. All right, so what I need to do, this line here, I don't know if you can see behind it as the grid line. So as long as I line up perfectly straight, I know that we'll have a perfect curve and it won't tip up here, if you know what I mean. So the curve won't go above that line. So I think we can actually fill that in with road now. And then we can do our cables again. There we go, I think that looks a bit better actually. So we'll copy that over here. Shit. Bloody. And bung a little bit of road in the... <laughs> in the middle. <laughs> there we go. That's not bad. And then just to make it a little bit more realistic, I'm gonna put a little foundation-y pillar thing. I'm gonna use a pillar and just, just do that. So it's just about poking out the water. Then finally, I'm just going to add a couple of vehicles. So we're going to have our van, because we're on our world tour, of course. And then, how about a little speedboat? Just about gets underneath. Sorted. Okay, so I'm reasonably happy with that. It looks pretty good. And I should be able to show you how this works. So remember, with these pillars, the bottom is fixed. That can't go anywhere, but it can rotate left and right. So hopefully you should sort of be able to see. Well, let's check it works first, before I go explaining. Okay, so that's looking good. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> so as the vehicle comes onto the bridge, this gets pulled way over. I mean, in real life, 
you probably wouldn't notice the difference because the weight of the vehicle compared to like the strength of the bridge is so, the ratio is so different. It wouldn't actually make a difference, the vehicle being there or not. Because this is sort of not to scale, I should probably make this a bit lighter to be honest. But I might try first just doing reinforced road and just see if that's a fix or not. Alright, so let's have a look at this then. Ooh, oh, frig me, that went up to like 90 something. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, that is quite funny. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about these uh, custom shapes. They don't tend to work. Oh, actually, actually, I might be able to fix this. Uh, so if I click on my custom shape. Oh no, I got rid of collide with everything. There's one other thing I can do that Arglin taught me, which is a bit, it's a bit naughty, but. All right, so edit tools. So I'm gonna add a few nodes. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make them, actually no, I'm gonna add four, sorry. So four nodes, I'm gonna make them cross over. Has that worked? Damn it. Oh, I might have been patched. It might have been patched. Yep. <laughs> Okay, I think it's been patched, unfortunately. That's a shame. But anyway, if we if we turn the stress on and slow the speed right down, then I'll just walk through how these types of bridges work. So, as I said before, we've got this pillar in the middle. It's only attached to the ground at the bottom and it can rotate. So as the weight from the uh, van comes on the left, you can see everything's leaning to the left, but the rest of the bridge is kind of in tension. It's holding it in place. So then as this gets to the middle, everything kind of balances out a bit more. And then obviously when this van would get to the middle, you'd have these two towers leaning into the middle a bit more. And then the sort of the main areas of tension would be down these sides of the bridge. Obviously it would have been a bit more impressive if I could make the old pillars out of bridge stuff. But I just thought with the colour, it'd be quite cool just to do something different, use the old concrete colour. So we'll turn the stress off and let's just try and get a decent shot so we can compare this bridge to the real one. And I should probably say what it's called as well. Right, so this bridge is the Australian Anzac Bridge. I think pretty similar to the original, just minus the, <laughs> minus the main feature of the bridge. So obviously the main downside with Poly Bridge, we can't have like 3D shapes be awesome to put the old diamond. So it's almost like a muscle, isn't it? It'd be awesome to get the old diamond thing in, but unfortunately we can't. So this is all we've got for now. But lovely bill for that, especially the real one. Mine not so much, but the real one, absolute bill. Love it. Anyway, on to our next Aussie bridge. Get out of the water, you might get wet. Right, so for our second bridge, this is probably the most iconic bridge of Australia. Going pretty big on this one. So I've done 81 meter span. I'm gonna bung in some, uh, where is it? A bit of terrain. All right, so we've got that on the one side. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. And now our span, our water span anyway, it's only 50 meters. And I'm just gonna add a few more anchors. And I'm gonna use these pillars. I'm just gonna make a sort of, well, a bigger pillar. <laughs> so something like that, I guess. Yes, there we go. That's looking pretty good, I think. I'm just gonna have a look at that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think that's about what I'm after, actually, with the old, with the lips, yep. So I'll copy one of them to the other side. There we go, and I've got a few anchors set up. So essentially, it's sort of three spans, shall we say. So I'm gonna do the easy ones first. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna do some road. I'm not doing these max spacing, because I kind of want, I want a bit of a square going on here. So basically I'm doing like a little cross brace thing like that. I'm just going to copy that across. Forget the cross brace. It's actually a trussy sort of shape like that, which makes a lot more sense. I prefer trusses to cross bracing. Uh, so if you just look at that in this view, holds itself nicely. I did forget we need some road between those pillars. So I'll just bung those in. And now the fun bit, because that's a hell of a gap compared to what I've just done. So we'll put the road in. I'm just going to do that by doing the old line tool and then fit it in. No green screen effects today, sorry guys. I'm just going to copy and mirror this to the other side. 
Right, and now the fun begins. Right, so if I did in sort of this thing in the middle, I'm gonna use a curve to go from down there up to there. And I'm just gonna sort of eye this in. Well, you can do loops. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, distracted. Distracted. Oh shit. Fuck me sideways. Fuck's sake. Why? There's a massive spider and I'm scared. Go away, Mr. Spider. And my girlfriend's out, so she can't even get it for me. <laughs> what do I do? Alright, I'm gonna go get a glass. I'm gonna be brave, I'm gonna trap it. And then wait for my girlfriend to come home to release it. <laughs> Bollocks. Oh, for fuck's sake. Where's it gone? Why is it gone? Mr. Spider. I've got a glass. I'm not gonna hurt you. Are you actually kidding me? Where the hell could it have gone? This room's tiny. Oh, oh, I can see it. It's horrible. How do I get to it? It's in my bloody cable management. Alright, come here, you bastard. Oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. Oh, oh, it's horrible. It's horrible. Oh, oh God. Whew. It's okay. I'm safe. I'm safe. Oh god, that was horrible. That was terrifying. That's dealt with now. That was absolutely terrifying. Oh, my heart is racing like anything. Don't know how much of that you heard, because this microphone doesn't pick up everything, but... Oh, holy shit, that was terrifying. So that, ladies and gents, is why I do not use Twitch, because I was shitting my pants right then. <laughs> there was a spider, and it was huge, because obviously because I'm doing Australia, <laughs> decided to be a f***ing tarantula in my room, didn't there? Disclaimer, this was not actually a tarantula because I'm in the UK. What we call tarantulas are probably as far away from a tarantula as you can actually get. But anyway, before I was rudely, very rudely disturbed by that spider, I actually got quite far with this bridge. So I'll turn my curve off now. So I reckon I can eye in that bottom bit. Oh god, my heart's still going. <laughs> that was terrifying. It's still really close to me, it's like by my feet, but it's under a pint glass. So it should be alright for half an hour or so before my girlfriend gets back and can save me. <laughs> She's good like that. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I had done this nice curve. I'd then done a sort of double curve on top as well. So it kind of curves this way and then a back-to-back. -back. So a back-to-back -back curve on the top. Started putting some trusses in, started doing the old cables, vertical cables. Right, so I've drawn those, I've done them vertically to line up with that. And then I'm just gonna just do that. And I think this is gonna look absolutely banging as soon as I mirror. So are you ready? So in case you hadn't guessed, I've never been to Australia. Pretty much for one reason. You, <laughs> you can probably work out what that reason is. <laughs> and I feel like that's just, I don't know. Something about me doing this level, like my whole gaming career in this room, which has been about five, six years. Not one spider, not one. And the day I do an Australian bridge, the biggest, f fat ass spider you've ever seen, which isn't that big because it fit in a, sorry, <laughs> fit in a pint glass. So it can't be that big. But to me, it's a big mofo. Harry, stop moving. I can see you moving down there. Oh God. <laughs> Right, and there we are. We're gonna add, of course, our world tour camper van. We're gonna we're gonna raise the sea, raise the sea a bit up to there. I think that's a bit more realistic. And then we're gonna what sort of ship shall we have? A crew? Oh no, let's not have a cruise ship. <laughs> bit big, a little bit big. Let's have a couple of hydrofoils. One going a bit slower than the other. And a speedboat over here. And there we are. So yeah, in case you hadn't guessed yet, this is probably Auckland's. Auckland? Damn it. <laughs> okay, so this is probably Australia's most iconic bridge. So if you haven't guessed, that's fine. You're just not a bridge lover like myself. But this bilf, if it holds, I haven't even checked. Oh, bloody hell. 78. This is the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh crap. <laughs> Bollocks. Okay, so it holds, but it doesn't hold our camper van. <laughs> that's a shame. Let's see then, can we do a Vespa? Because if it can hold itself up, surely it can do a Vespa. But yeah, so if we just compare to the photo, 
I think it's actually pretty accurate for a change this one because rather than just having a single pillar, I'm always like, ah, oh, poly bridge, you put two pillars in because you don't work properly. We've actually got the two pillars, which pretty good, I think. Obviously, mine's a bit smaller scale than the real thing. The old boats are a bit big. <laughs> but not too bad. I wish we, I really wish we could change the colour of the steel without using mods. I think that'd be really cool. But the Vespa made it across. So that's great news. So let's just have a look with the old stress on then. So you can see the main sorts of stress that we got down in these corners. So these bottom bits of the arches are really in compression. They're proper getting crushed. And likewise, so is the very top. That's also in compression because everything is sort of being pulled down in the middle. So these are getting all squished together. Actually quite a bill for that, isn't it? Very nice design. I think it's quite an underappreciated bridge. You don't hear too much about it. It is iconic, no doubt, but you don't hear a lot about it. Anyway, on to our third and final bridge. <laughs> I'm still looking at that spider. What? Oh god, I thought it disappeared then. It was just, just hiding in a shadow. It's still there. It's still there, people. Oh, frig me. Australia, hey. <laughs> right, so our final one is actually quite a simple one. It's still a bilf, don't get me wrong, but it's it's a new... Oh, well, it's not new at all. It's a rare breed of bridge. You don't see many of these, especially in a... I was gonna say especially in Australia. I don't know that at all. I don't even know why I said that. But yeah, bit, a bit simple, I guess you could say. But it's lovely in its own right. So we have this sort of thing going on. And then essentially, if we just get the number of these right, so essentially it's just that. So we'll add a pillar on the end here. We'll actually add another one. And then we'll add a load of land as well. And then bang an anchor up there. Oh yeah. And so essentially, basically a bit of a lesson in trusses. So when all these diagonal bits go towards the middle like that, we call that a Pratt truss. Named after some bloke, Pratt, <laughs> who came up with it. Probably, I don't actually know that. I'm just guessing. Uh, the other type you can have, so say we had that sort of thing going on, where you just had loads of triangles. Actually, I'm going to build this in all the different truss things that I know about. <laughs> so we're going to use this bridge as a bit of a, a truss learning experience. So I'm going to do all the different trusses that I know about, and then we'll go through each one, and we'll see if Polybridge can tell us which is the best. Right, so essentially we have, as before, the Pratt truss. So basically the triangles in the middle, they're split and they meet at the bottom center. So all these diagonals go and meet down here. Secondly, we have the Warren truss. So this is alternating diagonal pieces. So if we just look at the difference, you see this one, we all go in that direction, meet at the middle, and we go in the opposite direction. The Warren one, we do triangles the whole way. So the third type is the How, and basically this is the opposite of the Pratt. So rather than meeting in the middle down the bottom, we meet in the middle at the top before we change our diagonal direction. So if we compare those three, so meet down there, triangles, meet up there. Sorted and then the final one it, it's called a double warren. It's essentially this middle one, but with cross braces So it looks like that Now obviously apart from the double warren they all use the same amount of material So let's just do a little we'll do a little test and we'll see which truss is stronger And We'll do that by we will delete all of these and we'll just measure what the resting stress is. So 37 on the Pratt, 36 on the Warren. So the Warren's actually better. The How, another 36, so also better. And finally, the Double Warren, which you would have thought would be better, especially in Polybridge, because Polybridge, the weight of material isn't taken into account, just the nodes. However, 40%, it's the worst by far. That's quite surprising, not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, so basically the middle two are the best sorts of truss, according to Polybridge. Closely followed by the Pratt and then the Double Warren. And can you guess what this bridge is actually made out of? It's not the Double Warren, thankfully, but it is the next worst one. It's the Pratt. Surprising. I've seen a lot of bridges as well. They all seem to be this shape, like meeting down the middle. I sort of prefer to do this when I play Polybridge. So yeah, pretty, 
pretty interesting, I guess. Let's find a vehicle to go over. So we got a van. We're gonna we're gonna put a huge ass steamboat down there. It's gonna be tight. It's gonna be very very tight. Right. So this is our bridge then. So this is the Burdekin Bridge in Home Hill, Australia. It's in like the north east of Australia. Obviously, it, the real one doesn't have four different types of trusses. <laughs> that would just be bonkers. <laughs> but yeah, pretty pretty simple one, but a built in its own way, I think. You gotta you gotta appreciate an old simple truss bridge and way look at that stress 69 giggity goo but yeah the real one actually has two pillars again as well so pretty happy with that not gonna lie right so we'll turn the stress on we'll just have a look at what this number goes up to over each one so 66 on that one 63 so that's better with weight on as well I assume this one be similar 63 yep 63 again and this one should be way worse. 69. But yeah, hope you enjoyed our magical trip down under. I... It was a bit too realistic for me. <laughs> the giant spider entering the room. <laughs> Not fun. Not fun at all. But the bridges, I enjoyed the bridges. And I hope you guys too. So as always guys, all these bridges were suggested by people in the comments. So if you have any suggestions, what real bridge you want to see me do let me know below and i'll be sure to try and have a go anyway guys peace love and bridges i'll see you next time i'm gonna see us out with some didgeridoo sound effects homemade by myself <laughs>